Hi, in this video we're going to talk about measuring tools. First measuring tool we're going to look at, look at is the flexible tape ruler, or measuring tape, tape measure, goes by a few different names. Uh, commonly, commonly they come in uh, metric and imperial, in lengths from 16 feet, which is about uh, 5 meters, 25 feet at 7.5 meters. Uh, the end of the measuring tape usually moves back and forth to accommodate inside measurements and outside measurements. The, uh, they come in different widths as well. This is a one inch rule or a 25 millimeter. Uh, the wider your tape, you'll get more standout. So if you need to reach in different areas to, to make uh, measurements, you'll be more successful with a uh, one inch than with the, uh, the three quarter or the five inch ruler. The, uh, the imperial ruler is broken up into inches. The imperial measuring tape broken up into inches. You can see that the, uh, the common measurements, like your 12 inches or your one foot, are highlighted with these, with these black arrows. Your common on tenor spacings, your 16, 16 inches, are highlighted in these red squares on the numbers. And then also, if you look close there, you'll see 19 and 3 16 also highlighted, highlighted uh, 38 and 3 8 for your uh, engineered floor systems as well. So you can, uh, it's all easily identified on the imperial measuring tape. The uh, metric measuring tape is uh, broken up into millimeters, and then the numbers are actually highlighted in uh, centimeters, okay? They wouldn't want to put millimeters on there, the numbers would get too big. <coughs> so, and on this one, you can see every 10 centimeters is highlighted with uh, red numbering, just to more quickly identify uh, measurements as you're going through, okay? The uh, next one we want to have a look at is the longer steel rule or steel tape. They can come in uh, 30 feet, 50 feet. I've seen them as, as long as 100. Okay. Uh, this particular one is imperial on the back, metric on the front here. Okay. Great for uh, larger job sites. Instead of having to measure, you know, mark 25 step off different with the smaller tape measures, you can use the steel ruler. Uh, <coughs> Things to look out for, this is a steel one, so you don't get any stretch. Some of the fiberglass ones, if you put too much tension on them, you'll get stretched and you won't get a, a true measurement. Uh, another thing on this one here, because it's so long and kind of flimsy, when you're taking longer measurements on construction sites, they, they have a tendency to drag in the mud, uh, you know, get dirt and things in there, so it gets inside. So when you're pulling these back in, you want to have a rag or, or your glove and kind of wheel it through your hands to make sure it's getting cleaned up as it goes. If, if you put it away and it's wet, you'll get uh, rust in there and it uh, won't last you as long as it should. Okay. Uh, another one that's a useful tool, especially around the, the shop, is these uh, steel rulers. Okay. Uh, this, this one has a, a hook on the end you know, for measuring smaller pieces, things like that. It's handy for, for smaller, smaller projects. This particular one here uh, doesn't have a hook at the end, but it's handy because it starts right at zero. So if you need to do things like measuring the depth of, of joints, things like that, uh, setting table saw heights, or you know, lots of lots of different uses around the shop for these steel rulers. 